Hi, third graders. We're going to check our work for DLA day one. Today is Monday, and we are week 26. Okay, the directions for number one say combine the two sentences to make one sentence. So the two sentences say, I need to check out a book. The library is closed. So if you think back to the beginning of the year, we learned how to combine two sentences by using a comma and a conjunction. Conjunction. So what you would do here is you would add the word but or comma and then the word but. So this is what it would look like. I need to check out a book, comma, but the library is closed. And then, of course, we keep our period at the end. So if you got that right, give yourself a star. If you need to pause the video to fix it, please do. Okay, number three, two and three. They're asking for a common noun or proper noun. Remember, a common noun is any person, place, or thing. The proper noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. So we have the word Reebok. Those are a type of athletic wear. And since it's the name of athletic wear, it would be a proper noun. So if you got that right, give yourself a star. Okay, then number three is Bill Nye. That happens to be the name of Bill Nye, the science guy. And since it's his name, that is also a proper noun. So if you got that one right, give yourself a star. Number four, correct these sentences. Wow, that movie at the Grand Theater was scary. So we're going to start with capital W, the beginning of a sentence. Grand and theater also need to be capitalized because it's the name of the place where they saw the movie. And then we're going to put an exclamation point because that is said with emotion. So this is what your sentence would look like. Wow, that movie at the Grand Theater was scary. If you got it right, give yourself a star. If you need to fix it, please do. Okay, number five. At 7.15, we is going to have a speaker from Phoenix, Arizona. So we're going to start at the beginning, capital letter. We're going to insert a colon between the hour and the minutes. So you have two dots between the hour of 7 o'clock and the 15 minutes. Then we are going to take is gonna, and we're going to put are going to. So at 7.15, we are going to have a speaker from Phoenix with a capital P, Arizona with a capital A because it's the name of a city and the name of the state. We're going to put a comma in between the two, the city and the state, and then we're going to put a period at the end. So your sentence should look like this. At 7.15, comma, we are going to have a guest speaker from Phoenix, comma, Arizona. If you got it right, give yourself a star. And if you need to pause the video to fix it, please do. Okay, so since we're talking about a clock here at 7.15, I want to see you draw um, your own clock and show me what 7.15 would look like on your clock. So I started mine. Put your um, hour hand and your minute hand and show me 7.15. All right, can't wait to see your clocks. Good job checking your work. We'll see you next time.